quite an interesting move, many investors are saying, given the fact that one of the concerns cited in Namibia over the past while is that perhaps too many, too many foreign banks uh, own some of the local banks. Uh, what is your view with regards to the strategy uh, behind the implementation of the new act? Yeah, th thanks very much for having me on the line as well. Um, I think one will have to look at this amendment from, from this perspective that um, the law that we that we have had for the past uh, 10 years have been in existence for, for that period. And um, it, it's important that you keep on reviewing the law so that you, you know, you, you make sure that it's uh, updated to, uh, to be in line with the, with the um, you know, current practices and international standards. Um, strategy going forward is basically to implement um, the, the new amendments, which talks about, um, you know, um, allowing foreign bank branches, you have uh, correctly put it. Um, previously, um, that was not possible. For a bank to establish here, it has to establish a fully fledged subsidiary. Mm. Um, what we have done is to relax that requirement um, to encourage banks to set up bank branches here and maybe to come and test the water if they want to, you know, to expand their operations, they can then convert that into a fully fledged subsidiary. Mm. Uh, Governor, it's been quite interesting. I mean, looking at APSA and the interest that APSA has in the likes of CIH, and we know that a uh, majority bid uh, for uh, this uh, company, of course, was blocked in July. You've also been uh, quoted in the Southern Times uh, saying that if uh, APSA was interested in a minority uh, stake in CIH, then perhaps uh, that would be considered. Is this new amendment act perhaps a step forward to some kind of deal being closed in Namibia? Well, I think we will have to look at the amendments. Uh, um, you know, we, we shouldn't link it to, to, the, to the APSA deal. I think mm -hmm. they, are, they are quite separate. And in fact, this, we started working on these amendments about two years ago, and uh, it has got nothing to do with APSA. Um, our stand on APSA has always been that, yes, we, we welcome APSA in Namibia, but we will we, we'll, we'll have a problem having um, um, APSA taking over the majority share of, uh, of Bank Bendik, and that, that is still our position. Mm. Of course, we know that APSA has said, and of course um, has also spoken to CNBC, saying that they are still very interested in the Namibian, um, Namibian market. Uh, well, just taking a look at, as, as what you've been quoted as saying, uh, that if uh, APSA were to be interested in minority stake in CIH, then perhaps that, that, that would be considered. What is the status of negotiations uh, for now? So far, we haven't had any formal discussion with APSA yet. Uh, I, I think that's still something that, that may happen in the future. Um, so we, we, we have made our position clear in terms of what we, we want, in terms of um, keeping uh, the majority control of Bank Benduk locally. Um, I think APSA understand our position, and, and we also understand their position. Mm. So if there is anything that, that is coming, going to come, back from, come from them, I think that's something that we're going to discuss along those lines, that mm. we, we still want to keep um, majority mm. control in Namibia. Yeah. Um, any other banks, that, foreign banks, that have been interested in Namibian bank assets? Well, there, there have been, you know, many inquiries, and uh, we, we, we always get inquiries from, uh, from people who are interested in, in, in coming into Namibia. Um, but so far, we have not approved any, uh, any bank license of, uh, of a major bank in Namibia. Uh, taking a look at the com competition and, of course, uh, the, the way that this Amendment Act uh, is going to change the competitive environment in the country, what are you hoping for at this point in time? What we are hoping for is to see more players in the market um, that will um, encourage competition and that, that will also encourage um, um, better pricing of banking services. Um, so by encouraging banks to come and set up their branches here, we, we are hoping that um, you know, we, 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 will, we will get some, some uh, international banks come into Namibia and, and open up bank branches here. Mm. We also heard news that uh, the central bank is now going to be uh, able to levy administrative fines uh, on lenders. Uh, give it as a, an indication of uh, what your targets are with regards to this. This should basically be seen from a perspective of enforcing our um, uh, regulatory um, actions. Because in, in the past we, we didn't have any any teeth when it comes to enforcing our you know our prudential regulations in such that if the bank is consistently failing to to heed to our instructions we will have to go to court and you know get a conviction before we could 
um, mm. basically force that bank to, to comply. Um, the, the spot fines should be seen as, as um, you know, as, as an enforcement tool, which, which will allow us to, to fine a bank if it's, if it's consistently not meeting our mm. regulatory requirements. Governor, uh, it's also quite interesting, I mean, looking at Namibia, and, and because uh, it is not a very big country in comparison to some of the other African countries, we have seen a lot of interest, and we know there are a lot of South African interests in Namibia. What do you think is so attractive about the Namibian banking sector that we have seen so much appetite for the assets? Well, I guess um, the, the attraction is coming from this, from this perspective of um, the fact that uh, this is a growing market, and we, we think that there's, um, there's still a lot of potential in Namibia for for the banking sector and the whole economy, um, and and I guess any anybody who has got um, you know serious interest in in an expanding expanding market, I think they will also want to look at them.